My lightning talk will focus on how product analytics as a product can be used to achieve the elusive data happiness. A bit about myself. My name is Sebastian Perez Saibi. I love coffee and data. And for the last 15 years, I've built global data products across three continents and industries as diverse as commerce, healthcare, and finance, sometimes even without any machine learning or deep learning. I care about high-performance data teams and startups, and in my current role at Shopify, we're building the most useful and comprehensive analytics platform for over 2 million merchants everywhere. So let's begin. Our tale begins with Kevin, <clears throat> an idealistic data scientist running large-scale data analysis. On his spare time, he generates AI art, like this depiction of himself. He is ready with the best tools of the trade, TensorFlow, SKLearn, all the statistical tooling, and he's ready to apply deep learning to solve any business problem that comes on his way. He can't wait for a perfectly curated Kaggle-like dataset where he can focus on feature engineering all day and all night. He's ready to try everything and anything to get that extra 0.1% in precision or recall. But then his boss sends him a message. He just wants to understand why if they just launched a, a feature, the engagement of that product hasn't caught up. This is no problem for Kevin, who writes a query and puts together a beautiful report to answer that business question. He does all this work well, but the problem is that this is not the only question coming Kevin's way. Where more questions come, the apparent simplicity of each question accumulates, and he needs to do more data modeling, more digging, and it becomes a very cumbersome activity to answer all of these questions at the same time. This is an all too common experience for many data scientists in the industry. You want to do fancy machine learning in perfectly trimmed Kaggle's datasets? But in order to do your job, you'll end up most likely doing some of the work described in the awesome lightning talks we have in this conference. And essentially, it's because your job is providing a good return on investment for your business. So this makes you wonder, does data science happiness exist? Are you adding value for your organization? Is there buying for data work in your company? And this can indeed be stressful, but I'm here to tell you, my friend, that that's okay. Focusing on adding business value is a worthwhile endeavor. I'll show you even how to make it fun. So if you find yourself stressed typically about these problems, you're probably in a data service organization which means that you have lots of ad hoc requests. They come first in, first out, and you prioritize them as they come. Knowledge is scattered. It's hard for you to scale yourself and to scale your team, and that creates a high toil environment. You could consider thinking of your problems as data product problems, where every business question is a feature, product analytics can be used as knowledge management, and that reduces toil and increases maintainability. So why even try this product analytics as a product thing? Other than the nice coincidence in the recursion of the name, it reduces work in progress because you're building an internal data product to answer business questions and measure the progress of your product. The keyword here is product. Stakeholders are your users. So you're building with them, not for them. Product analytics then helps you measure the impact of your work. Everyone around you, not only the data team, informs how this product evolves. And last but not least, you can find leading indicators that drive your organization forward. So as a summary, product analytics as a product makes it easier to get buying for data work, make visible the business value of the work that you're doing and find leading indicators for your business. 
which makes perfect news for our friend Kevin, who can finally go back to spend some time building some awesome data products.